Hey everybody and welcome back to Cyberpunk TV Cringe Compilation Deus Ex Edition. Um, that's not actually true, I guess. What am I doing? I am going to go to Versa Life and do some, some rad super damage. He told me what my, my password is. It's JC Denton, and then I don't remember what my password is. Password Sanctuary. That would make sense. C. Denton. Welcome to the fold, says Alex Jacobson. Wait, 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 wait. You're here too? Dude, that's really cool. Alex, I'm glad you're on board. What's up, Daedalus? Oops. I'm just dropping stuff. Yunatko is merely an arm of a larger entity known as Majestic 12. We knew that. Um, they engineered the Grey Death. Not the government. Well, would Majestic 12 be part of the government or controlled by the government? Universal Constructor used to create the day and Grey Death and destroy it. Well, that's not a bad thing. Majestic 12 facility be beneath Versa Life. So I could do that in addition to my other thing? Oh, this is the this is my boy from the armory. Matterly has disappeared. Simons has taken interim authority. We already know he's connected with Majestic Twelve, so they're just like straight up cutting the ties. Um, dude, f his friends are disappearing. If, if I can find them again, maybe they'll be useful to you. Do what you think is right and let the devil take care of the rest. That's really nice. It's nice that all my friends are on board. Like, despite this being a crazy-ass conspiracy theory, like, I'm pretty okay with people just, like, being chill about it. Also, this is the part that doesn't go anywhere, right? Okay. The storage room. Um, so that's okay. I'm pretty chill about that. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So underneath Versa Life is the manufacturing company for the Grey Death. Manufacturing constructor, not company. I mean, the company does own it. Not that particular company, perhaps, but... Somebody's doing something underneath Versa Life, so let's... We're gonna do both of those things. Probably. While you are here, observe the laws of the Triad. I'll do my best, buddy. I will do my best. Hey, Gordon. What's up? You cool? Uh, you want me to close the door? Uh, Alright, you got it. Cool. Um, Alright, so we gotta go back across town here. Hey, guy. Uh, then... Oh, man. I was just thinking about that horrible joke from Dude, Where's My Car? And then... Um, but then I'm gonna go back to Versa Life, which was right before the Lucky Money, if I remember. Ha like, halfway down those stairs. So we'll see. I'm also in the complete wrong spot. Like, wh good grief. All right. I still really dig JC's, like, head bob. Like, I don't know. Like, it's it's a cute little feature, but, like, who walks like that? Who, like, who, like, I'm doing, like, the chicken walk every time, all the time. 24-7, 365. Chicken walk for days. All right. Um... And we avoided having to break into the police station by basically determining that lady was a liar and not doing her stuff. Um, lucky money, lucky money. Here's Versa Life. All right, here we go. Um, do I have the key for this? I do, don't I? Versa Life employee ID. So 06288. How much of this Let's Play has been me, like, looking up and typing passwords? Like, that just... Okay, how about door and then down? Alright, how about up? Okay, we're going up. I don't... I don't know. But, like, for real, though, how much of this Let's Play has been me looking in my menu to remember passwords because my memory is so bad? Are we cool? Okay, we're cool. Hey, man, what's up? If you need help, talk to one of the receptionists. Thanks, buddy. 
cool. I'm sorry, that was that was not on purpose. Welcome to Versaline. You make tomorrow look like yesterday. How can I help you? I'm looking for Mr. Hunley. He's upstairs making his rounds. Look for a man in a black suit. You're just, you. you're just gonna let me walk around? Like, that's... You guys are not very secure. Like, do not require a security pass to visit the first three levels of offices. Oh, I see. Okay. Thanks for answering my question. <laughs> Alright, um... What's up? You work at Psionics? You look like you could have the gift. Psionics? I don't have... Dude, Psionics are a thing in this universe? I mean, I know Augments are a thing. But, like, I didn't think... Like, and they can perform some magic powers stuff. Loyalty, respect, trust. Ooh, this looks like my old job. Hey, man, what's up? Please address inquiries to my supervisor. Why are you working so late and also being a dick? Let's see what you're working on, buddy. Come on. I bet you I can help you solve it. Let's just see. Okay, so I can't sit down next to you. That's weird. All right. Well, Damien, I'm going to leave you alone. I like how once you talk to someone one time, even if they just tell you to smeg off, they you already know their name. Like, that's one of the things I like about this game. Like, what up, dude? Hey, Gary. It is... <laughs> it's a nice little touch. I don't really know. All right. Black suit. So much for the schedule, right, Meg? The schedule. Yeah, sure. It's swell to miss a day of work, but they bloody hell better push back the delivery. I know I won't be done. They'll understand. At least the super freighter's on our way to America. No more special agents nosing about up here. Special agents? You know, the ones in the suits with gray skin. Eyes tattooed on the backs of their necks. Whoa, I never I'd noticed sure that. I'd like to know what was in those tanks to make them so uptight. Wow, dude. Didn't get a jot of work done today. <sighs> well, maybe if you got a bit of work done today, you could, like, be on schedule. Oh, there's Mr. Burnett. All right, let's... Hopefully this will not boil into a giant conflict, but you never know. Hello? Mr. Hundley, shift supervisor. Who might you be? I'm contracting this month. Quite a facility you have here. Thank you, thank you. Yes, we're pretty proud of the work we're doing. That's Any great. Any chance I can get a tour of the labs? Oh, no, I'm afraid not. Uh, trade secrets and all that. I'll make it worth your while. Hmm. To the tune of what? Two thousand? Two thousand sounds reasonable, but I don't have the cash on me. Fine, fine. Just come back when you do. You kidding? How am I supposed to make that much money? <sighs> Maybe I'll just do it without him. Um, I don't know how to get to the higher levels of the lab, though. So, huh. It would be very, like, entertaining if I could steal a bunch of money from First of Life and then pay him with it. That would make my that would make my day. So I'm gonna look around here and see what we can come up with. Um, hmm. Right out of company groceries. Going up. Thanks, man. Whoop. Dude, nice cafeteria. There's gotta be an ATM. No, it's just another cube floor. What the hell? Hey, man, what's up? I have work to do. Okay. Oh, yeah. hello. Please stay out of the work area. Okay. I can't be bothered. All right, cool. I don't know what I'm looking for, guys. I'm just, like, wandering around pestering people. Go away. They will think I'm talking to you. Okay. Um, hmm. So we've learned... We've learned some things. Late night. Yeah, it is. Um, we've learned some things. VersaLife comps lunch for all of its employees because there's no ATM here. Um, Don't worry about it, Taya. We're very laid back around here. Are you sure? Dude, your name is Destiny Savannah. You must have a security pass to visit the laboratories. Okay, okay. Well, let's go... Like, just... Can I use any of these computers or are these not... Okay, so, yeah, here we go. Let's get in there. I'm just, like, typing away, like, hiding under the desk and just typing blindly above it to hack things. There we go. Now, do we got any email? Cool. All right, so I've got a contemporary security pass, right? Right? How did, I guess, did it make one? And that's probably fine. Maybe Mr. Hundley can 
to show you around. No, I don't want to, like, get in her way. So, like, how do you get... Yeah, here. I have a, se I have a security pass. Can you show me? feet are killing me. Huh? Well, is that just the security office? That's not the entry to the labs. Oh, okay. Then I don't need to go in there, really. I mean, hmm. I mean, I probably could do some things. Some damage to the company from in there, but that's not really my goal. Um, Alright, floor three of the programming department. It's right over here. Now, where's the entrance to the labs? I have a temporary security pass, don't I? Oh, it's right here. Dude, why is your cube, like... The different color. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, you... You're d what? Just looking around. People are trying to concentrate. They keep you up here pretty late. That's because they don't want people looking over my shoulder. Why not? Huh. I guess it doesn't matter what I say anymore. It's because I falsify all the records, okay? They probably don't want you telling people that. <laughs> So, I don't care. I figured it out today, how they do it. People with my job got the great death. In a couple of weeks, I could be in a camp. I could already be sick. Why would they do that? Whatever's in those labs, stuff goes in there. Instruments, military personnel. That's weird. None of it goes on the record. Iverson had this job, that's why he got sick. Chang, Kylie, Watts, now it's me. I'd really like to check out those labs. You some kind of spy or something? Does it matter? If I get you down there, can you do something for me? What's that? Hunley, kill him. I bet you could do it. You guys have ways to keep from getting caught. I can give you clearance. John Smith, you want me to kill Hundley? I want to see those labs. Mr. Hundley checks the logs every five minutes. I can't do anything while he's around. Okay, well, how's this? I'm gonna knock him out. Mama say knock him out. And then um, we'll see what happens, all right? Because that's about the best I can do for you, buddy, is I can tase the crap out of him, but that's all that's going to happen. I'm not going to kill him. Like, even if it would be for the best, like, even if that would be, you know, a good thing. All right, you look away. Hey, Mr. Hundley, I got your money. Perfect. That was easy. What up, dude? Um, cool. So that actually worked out super well because he was on the stairs. So he, nobody actually saw him. And the security cameras didn't even go off. So let's see. Let's see. Hey, what's up? All right. I killed your boss. You mean... He's out of the picture. I'd advise you not to hang around too long. Now how about getting me into the labs? Well, okay. Sure. It doesn't matter to me. The code to the elevator is 6512. I'll make sure you have access once you get to the lab. I, uh, hate to tell you this, John, I didn't kill your boss. I basically just, you know, uh, knocked him out, but six, five, one, two. Hey, six, five, one, two. Smile pretty for the camera. All right, so that went pretty well. Um, I feel a little bad for lying to John. He seems like a nice guy, but I'm going to make sure that nobody gets the black or the gray death, so he'll be okay. And I can justify it that way, because I really didn't want to kill Mr. Hundley, like, even if he's a poopy head, um, which is the strongest language I plan on using. Uh, um, yes? May I help you? You're the one that just cleared for level one. Yeah, that's me. You are welcome to stroll around the laboratories, but respect the work that we do here. Your security pass can be canceled with no warning. I've looked forward to this for a long time. Security is watching through the cameras. If you cause trouble, an alarm will sound, and the guards won't wait to ask questions. Yes, sir. I'll try not to get in anyone's way. Cute. Harrison, you're kind of a dick. Also, that's not at all, like, foreboding whatsoever. Like, it's just a big, empty hallway with a hand grabbing the earth. Like, for real, guys? Also, what the crap? Is that just, like, just there to be super... Can I talk to you? Hear that? Nothing. Must have been a glitch. It's sad that they have that voice. It kind of makes me sad that the commandos have that voice, because I, they seem kind of funny. I, I, I kind of like them. Um... <laughs> With their big floppy arms, but they're they're gonna try and kill me. Then that's basically all they're gonna do. So down again, I guess.
Yeah, I just pushed the button. I heard somebody walking, and I did not want to wait with them. Did not want to deal with that. So go this way. Down. Are we already down? Is this like a different elevator to go back up? I don't want to go back up to this. I want to. Okay, let's see where this goes. I don't. With the door open? What the hell? Okay. Where? This seems like the wrong direction. No. Hey, buddy. I don't recall being informed of any visitors. That's cool, man. This is definitely something. Is there a camera up here? There is. Why is there not a camera up here? Guys, missed opportunity. They do have eyes tattooed on the backs of their heads. Taking damage. Please advise. Chill, man. It's cool. I'm gonna hit you right in your eye. So that's not an effective way to defeat those guys. Like, there's no way that I'm gonna be able to do that. So let's turn off some security, shall we? I mean, and I probably could have done this just behind his back while he patrolled the hallway, but that's no fun. I really don't like those big, black, doopy sounding idiots, so. All right, camera status off. Camera status off. Camera status on. Uh, open the doors. Open the doors. Unlock the doors. Open the doors there. Okay. Done. Magical. So that's kind of a, this weird employee lounge that just has the security computer in it. Um, hmm. All right, well, cool. <coughs> God, why do I have to sneeze? Ugh. Most professional Let's Play channel ever. I like how I can see the lab, but I cannot get to it from here. Hmm. Okay. What's up? They don't let me talk to lab personnel. The other guys talk can talk to lab personnel. Hey, buddy. I'm on duty. Hi, guys. You shouldn't be back here. Oh, okay. This is the armory. Why do you need a weapon? What are you doing? You guys are asking the right questions. I will give you that. There's a thing in there. But I don't have enough lockpicks, so it's cool. Can I just... Alright, you guys just... You do you, guys. And there's like... Oh, here's the... Here's the it's break room. It's really a question of abstraction. Exactly, exactly. You can't be dealing with this sort of thing on the base bear level. Essentially what I told Miss Chow. Tissue augmentation. It's not a matter of twiddling bits. You met the American team? Have a look around. The project is finally starting to heat up. We are having an important discussion. All right. We need to stay focused on tools. In okay. principle, yes, I agree. It is a simple request. Lab procedure forbids. The psionics laboratory. The psionics laboratory has no business worrying about weak interactions between incidental subatomic particles. Our work on Fityov Capra. Capra? A quantum quack. Don't criticize what you don't understand. There's so many data pads in there that I really want to know about. Rest depends upon collaboration. Maybe you should cross your legs, undo yourself, and try to read my mind. The sharing of data between departments should be automatic. VersaLife did not achieve one trillion credit equity by disclosing R&D material. We work in the same building. Our results can be understood only by hmm. a few dozen people on the planet, none of whom are psionics engineers. That's weird. Okay. Um. Nope. So, like, where do I? Where do you go from here? Like. This is weird. Okay, so like, how do I get down? I want to get down to the laboratory floor, is what I'm looking for. Like, I'm in the break room area. I don't, I don't understand. Um. Hmm. I mean, I probably, like, I'm not supposed to clip through the floor. Like, th this elevator should go down here, right? I mean, that makes sense. But let's try it. I like how this has an up and down. Down. 
down. Oh, you just... But it didn't do anything. This is a really unsafe elevator that you can open drive with the door open. So I was up here. This is where the that guy is unconscious on the floor. Right there. There's a data pad. There's a comfy chair. Well, okay, so... I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Hold on. M. Chow should be given full others. Yeah. Okay, so hold on. M. Chow given full access. That doesn't help here. I need to find a computer. I should have read that before. I apologize. But... I really don't know what good that compass does us. I guess, like, when they, the people give us introductions, or, in, excuse me, instructions that say go east. But otherwise, not very helpful. Alright, so... What is that? Is that just a stealth pistol just hanging out? Well, I already had one, so... Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> but, alright, so... Like... From here, where do you go? Do you... I guess you just climb into a vent. That's what I'm gonna do. Bye, guys. I don't know how else to do this, so I'm just going. Um, that's dead end. Okay. It really pains me to have to pay Bionic Energy to use this flashlight. Oh, well, that was super freaking useless. We are having an important discussion. Just talking shop? Never mind us. Carry on with your business. But... Great. Bathrooms. Great. Um, where are these... Where does this vent go? Probably not where I want it to. Maybe. I mean, I would pro probably die if I had to fall down a vent. That, oh, this goes up to that other room, doesn't it? Yeah, it's gonna... Maybe not. I don't really know. Hmm. These vents are very pretty. Oh. Okay. A green path or blue path. Let's go blue first, just to see where this goes. I'm assuming that this blue one is going to lead me all the way to the room where the guy was the where the great man in black i guess you'd say whoa what is that a security robot in here that's not okay all right i want to save just in case he wrecks me that's not a robot that is a loose monster A greasel. Okay, why is there a greasel running around in their in their vents? Like that is not okay. Guys, you gotta take care of your business. No, 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 greasel, greasel, please just fall unconscious. I didn't say spit acid at me. Ouch. Where the hell am I now? Am I inside the elevator shaft? Maybe. Um. Let's regenerate really quick. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, awesome. Yes, so, so yes we are. hell are we? Where the hell are we going? Alright, let's check this out. I mean, this isn't at all menacing, right? Like, not even a little bit menacing. Like, this is like in Galaxy Quest, when they're in this empty hallway and then there's just pounders in there for no reason. Like, it just is. Um, but I might be able to get down to the labs this way, so might as well keep trying. Where does this go? 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not into that. Let's keep going down. Okay, so... Uh... Um... Hmm. Hopefully that's just my sounds and not actually... Well, here we go. We're getting closer. The raw man coding should be in this wing of the laboratory. Okay. Well, that was... Their safety protocols are terrible. Like, M. Chow should have full access, but I don't know what M. Chow's password is, and I'm not really that interested in digging around for it. So let's just hack everything. Easy peasy. I have uploaded the component the triads need to complete the sword. Go to the temple next to the market. I will bring together the dragon heads for a meeting. Um. What? Um. Okay, cool. Let's just go. Okay. Ow. Dick. Okay, so let's just go out on a limb and say alerting the alarm is not okay. Bring that back up here. Cool. All right, let's get let's get our freaking thing, and then I want to try to stop the gray death. I'm gonna dig around in here, even if it's the last thing I do. TM. Um. Great. Like stopping the triads is cool and all, but. I mean, I'm not doing that right now. Like, I need to... I don't think I should leave this lab and then come back again later. I think this... I'm going down now. Also, I'm going to set off the alarm again, aren't I? Why? Because of the scanner? I guess, right? You can't catch me, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Oh, you can catch me. Those robots are immune to pepper spray, and that is very sad. Alright, so if I get scanned, I set off the alarm. What happens if I just jump down? Like, I mean, I got up here, so there's got to be a way to get down, right? Or is this all secretly boxed in? Oh no, is this all secretly boxed in? So I have no choice but to set off the alarm going out. That sucks. Um, do I have a way to get back up there? Not really. <sighs> crap. Alright, crab battle. Hmm. Alright, well. Let's just do some stuff then. Let's just do some, some fiddling. Um... What is this? Just destroy the UC in the process. Use code is five. Wait, the ultimate controller. Hold on. Temporary patch to initiate cascading shutdown sequence. This will destroy the unit in the process, so only use in an emergency. Five two five. So we have to find the ultimate controller and five two five it. Um. But we have to do so without, like, trying really hard not to set off an alarm. I have some thoughts on how to do that. 
but I'm not 100% sure. It's like, so, hold on. Hold on, no, 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 like, just go, go just barely over the edge. Go, go down. All right. Whoever's out there, Fuck. Pick yourself up. Um, I don't think we have a choice other than to just accidentally, and I don't want to go out, I want to go in. This is such a bad plan. Sergeant, is that you? Yeah, it is. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, you know what? That's enough for this episode. We've already completed a major objective. Let's call it quits. But we'll be back with more Ben trying to run the hell out of a laboratory without getting shot to death next time. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.